all welcome to the web application challenges section on pentester academy now in this video i will show you the solution for challenge 19 which is html injection part 4 so let's jump right in now this is one of those applications which can read an image file and print interesting metadata statistics about that file. So I've already put in a sample image file. Click on fetch metadata and it parses the image file and gives you all of this interesting metadata, right? Now the challenge is really to go ahead and add vulnerable to HTMLI using the h1 tag in this page. Now you may have tried just like in the last challenge to append a string at the very end that wouldn't work simply because this application is not looking for strings rather it specifically is only looking for metadata so we would have to go ahead and inject the whole vulnerable to HTMLI in one of these fields uh, and we'll see how so let me go right in. Let me use our good friend wget to get this image file. Let me copy this to a new file and just append underscore attack to it. Now, how do we view the different metadata without the application? So if you just do a quick file fuji underscore attack it tells you this is a JPEG EXIF standard 2.1 and if you just do an EXIF and hit tab twice on Kali you already have an EXIF tool which is available in here so let's say EXIF tool give it the image file name and if you notice it seems to be dumping the entire metadata onto the screen now because we need to put in a string, we need to find a metadata field where we can accommodate a large enough string and which will not cause an issue with the actual rendering or in any other way if that metadata is picked up by the rendering program. So clearly software seems to be a good option even though there are other fields as well such as make, camera model name etc. But software seems like a promising field uh, with a decent amount of length which we may require. Now EXIF tool, the beauty is it allows you to change the metadata, let's say software with just a hyphen software equals and then we can add what we want which is h1 tag vulnerable to HTMLI close h1 tag close the code and there we go so it says updated let me run exif tool on the same image again aha and if you notice right now when we look into it we clearly see software has been changed to h1 tag vulnerable to HTMLI awesome now let's go back in here uh, you need to ensure that you now upload this image file which is directly accessible from a URL. I have already done that. This is the same underscore attack file which we just viewed. Copy the URL. And if you notice, because we played with the metadata and at least a field which the software renderer does not use, uh, pretty much the image remains the same. Copy that link. You can go back in here. Paste that link in here fetch metadata again scroll down and here we go right the software field was what was vulnerable and we were able to put this in right so this is a variation of how uh, one could go ahead and leverage other aspects you know of a third party program which is actually being used to go ahead and create content on an HTML page right so hopefully this video and challenge was fun as well. 
I've included the relevant screenshots in the PDF available for download so that you can use it as a cheat sheet. And uh, that brings us to the end of this challenge. So if you're enjoying your time on Pentester Academy, please do recommend us to your friends and colleagues. We would really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much, guys. See you in the next video.